Hello everyone, and welcome back to From Our Basement Gaming. Hey everybody. Uh, we are back with part 14 of our Dragon Quest Let's Play. That we are. And, uh, yeah, so... did a little research and it turns out I went to the wrong location last time, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. This time I have to map out on my end, and... I have a better idea of where I need to go. Okay, that's good. You alright, my man? Yep. Yeah. I was just sad that, you know, we we played a Yu-Gi-Oh game today. Oh um, yeah, we did. We did you, try that out. Uh, we tried out a new Yu-Gi-Oh game that Connor bought uh, on the Switch uh, called Legacy of the Duelists, I think. We were having trouble winning, you know, it's on really the second battle, um, mm -hmm. you know, reenacting basically episode one. Pretty much. Um, and then we finally got to the point where we were going to win because we pretty much deduced that, you know, the goal was to get all five pieces of Exodia, much like how episode one of Yu-Gi-Oh! ends, and yep. we did, but the game crashed. Yep. And I looked into it, and apparently, I did not know this, but this game is pretty infinite, uh, infamous for crashing. Yes. Um, and somebody also said another one of the, uh, another one of their Yu-Gi-Oh! games that they worked on. Also crashes a lot. Um, and it sounds like it's not Konami, but it's like the people who developed the game. And which I guess kind of explains why I found the person who had uploaded, um, uploaded, had messaged Konami about it and they said that they were pretty apathetic about it, that they don't plan to add new cards or put in a patch. That would probably be because, more than likely in this case, Konami distributed it and didn't upload it. Um, yeah, I wonder if we need to move this. Sorry for the noise. That was our squeaky table. Um, yes. Yeah, so I think since they're the distributors, they probably weren't going to be like, oh yeah, let's bother patching it uh, that would probably be the developers that need to do that and I'm guessing the developers don't care to do it Konami doesn't care to do it so it's not gonna happen probably it's not even their newest Yu-Gi-Oh game anymore anyway so that's probably why they're like eh it's oh, cool. yeah it's just unfortunate for us um, it does sound like some people have gotten past that point Cool. It's just that, and, and then they said infamously Exodia tends to cause the game to crash. So it sounds like it's an issue where like the cutscene that from what I can tell you can't turn off causes the game to crash. Mm. That is not good. And for those lucky PC players, there have been fans that have made a mod that fixes the crashing, but uh, we're playing it on the Switch, so I guess we are up the creek without a paddle. Um, Shoot. It's as if Kaiba has yanked the <laughs> plug, plug off the socket and was like, Wait. Oh, you're gonna win? You're gonna win, Yugi? Well, screw you! Yoink. That, you're not gonna win! <laughs> <laughs> That's what we were joking about, that like... 
instead of just being in shock and like, oh, that's impossible and losing that he like notices it's happening. So he just like uh, runs over and yanks the cord of the hologram. Whoa. Spooky. Very spooky. Um, you know, just yanks the cord of the hologram or turns it off or however that would work. And be like, ha! I still win. <laughs> um, though maybe he would have too much pride to do that in reality. To win in a sleazy way like that. Imagine seeing that in the anime. Yeah, I, I think people would be pretty angry. <laughs> I mean, Autumn would probably punish him anyway. Yeah, he'd be mind crushed. Yeah. And the next thing you know, Yu Gi Oh refers back to season zero. <laughs> Holy fuck! Again, huh? Yeah, a demon like this. <laughs> It looks kind of cute. It in does. A, weird, a very weird way, but it looks kind of cute. Yo. Oh. By the way, this is an aside thing, but did you mess at your mom? Yeah. Okay. So she knows. Not upset. Well, I haven't heard anything. Okay. Uh, sorry, I was just, uh, behind the scenes thing to ask him, Connor, or something. Oh. Yep. I don't think I was gonna win that fight. Whoa. say we we're back with port part 14 earlier. I think you did. Okay, good. Sorry, my brain is not together today. You're doing the best you can on now. Yeah. Just one of those overwhelmed by everything days. That I was hoping to have less of, but well, maybe eventually. Hope you guys like watching this heal ourselves endlessly. Yeah. Poor magic points. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually we'll be able to fight one, but right now they're a little scary. We can always try the game again to see if we can get past that point. Yeah, I think we can. But, yeah, I was kind of annoyed at the game because, you know, you're kind of recreating iconic duels from the anime and they have it for the spin offs too. But, like. Took a long turn. Oh! Uh oh. Well, it's, I don't know if I can. Return? MP is too low. Oh. 
Aspesto beyond werewolf. Ooh. So yeah, we just got a little bit lost, but we'll try to find it. Right. Yeah. So the thing that annoys me is that um, some of the cards are cards that would not have been available at the time of the yeah. early episodes. And when it comes to like so I kind of, no offense to the developers, but I feel like they were a bit lazy. Um, because also... Not so nice. <laughs> and yeah. Other than, like... Because when it comes to Seto Kaiba and Atom or Yami Yugi's uh, sprites, they have them at with their Battle City looks. And... We're like in episode one territory, yeah. so those outfits are not correct. Pardon. <clears throat> it's okay. Th those looks are not correct. Yeah. So, I I how many fan magazines I've run that weren't the correct looks? Yeah. So, like, uh, you know, <laughs> like, those of you who've watched you, you know, in the first episode, in like the first scene we're introduced to Yugi and the others, who by the way are in their correct outfits, which are the school uniforms. Um, as you know, Seto Kaiba over here is Yugi talking about his grandfather's game shop and how he has some rare cards. And so of course he too is in a school uniform because they're in class. But the sprite they had for him or Avatar, or whatever you want to call it, was him in his Battle City outfit, you know, that big white coat. And I'm like, <laughs> I was just cracking up. I'm like, he would not be sitting in class in that outfit. Yes, I can only imagine like, him in that outfit. And the teacher is like, that is a very inappropriate outfit for class, Mr. Kaiba. And but he'd be like, I'm a rich CEO. I don't care what you think. Even so, you're a student of this school. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess to be fair, if that if it was something he could get away with, he probably would do that because he's extra like that, you know. But yeah, it... It was still kind of annoying because I'm like, uh, and I'm disappointed because Connor and I have like no familiarity with the spinoffs or how the game's rules change during said spinoffs. Um, so, you know, my thought was, oh, we'll, we'll go through the classic, excuse me, and then we'll preview the spinoffs just to see because I've heard horror stories of how ridiculous some of the card game rules have gotten to the point where there are people who are specifically uh, playing like choosing to play by the classic rules and making groups where they play by the classic rules because they've just gotten tired of the new rules or it's too complicated or they don't enjoy it as much for whatever reason. Um, I was told that there are people who play the... You know, the way we played back in the good old days. Uh, so, yeah. Back in my day. Back in my day, we didn't have all these uh, multi levels of the pendulum summoning or whatever it's called, the link summoning. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going off of some names I heard, but I know nothing about them. So don't ask me what those are. I don't. Pendulum summoning? You know, it sounds really. I heard about it in a fan comic. Yeah, it seems really complicated. Sounds like it. Yeah. 
Yeah, to the point where somebody made a parody where they were basically insinuating that Yugi would not do very well playing with the modern day rules, which um, he probably would do fine, I think. Yeah. He would just need to adjust to it. He is the king of games. Yeah, so I'm like, well, but I get it. I get the point of them saying that is that it's gotten way too complicated and uh, but I haven't seen firsthand yet. <laughs> so I'm hoping I mean we'll try again, but uh, apparently Exodia is like uh, breaks this game for whatever reason, so. But we'll try it again sometime. It was very frustrating though, because when I was looking for advice and I found forums of like people asking for advice, a lot of trolls were in the comments just being like, "Oh, your switch got obliterated!" <laughs> and it's like, dude, <laughs> stop. Yeah, well, well, other people were getting the glitch at different points in the game. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, like one person, they did not summon Exodia. Like the computer summoned Exodia and it crashed the game, mm -hmm. which sounds even more frustrating. And one guy was like, my game crashed when I summoned three dark magicians back to back. So it sounds like it's an issue with the animations. So I feel like at the very least, they should make a patch where you can turn off the animations. Because if that's what's causing the crash, then turning it off should fix it. In theory. I guess we can turn this down. Sorry, we forgot to... Um, I think... Four enough? Yeah. Alright, there. Yeah, we can still hear it, but it's quieter, so... Yes. That will help. So if you guys were hearing, like feedback of the music. Sorry about that. We're recording slightly out of order, so you won't know what I'm talking about, but there's a part in um, our... There will be a part in the video next week where that might also be a thing. I don't know yet. So, But I very... I was like, oh, I'm liking this music, so I didn't want to turn it down. So. I hear you. Whereas this music, it's okay, but it's it's very repetitive, so I'm like, eh, I'm okay turning it down. It's good music, but repetitive. A metal slime. Metal slime. So they come in gray. Hmm. Metallic. Slide right away. <laughs> oh, well, we're glad we saw you. How come they didn't have any metallic uh, slimes, slime plushes when I was in Japan? They had so many plushes of those little slimes. Did they forget about the metal slime? Maybe. They mostly had the blue one, but I saw a few red slimes. They seem like they like the blue one best. But yeah, I'd usually see that next to like 
Uh, I don't know the name of the guy, but the, the little white guy from Final Fantasy. Oh, I've seen him too, but I don't remember which game he was from. I don't either. He, like, has little bat wings or something, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so it's very common, like, in arcades and stores and stuff for me to see those two plushes. The slime from this game, and then that white, little white bat guy from Final Fantasy whatever. I, I don't know what Final Fantasy <laughs> it's from either. So apologies in advance, you know, you guys know I'm not very deep in the Final Fantasy lore. I'm not... I mean, I know more about it than I do with Dragon Quest, admittedly. Same. So. And I was killed by a Wrath Knight. <laughs> yes, I saw. Oh my gosh. Sadness. Yes. This is definitely a more challenging game, that's for sure. Yes. Especially this leg of it is more challenging. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I understand this map correctly, I have to go around that on point to get to where I need to. Oops, sorry. Oops. I accidentally hit the shield. Ah. Sorry, guys, if you heard a sudden noise. I tried to escape to get back to the castle to save, but... Yeah, that didn't work out. No, he killed me before I got the chance. Yeah. Typical wrath knight. Yeah, typical wrath knight. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah, we've been watching regular shows. Yes. Yes, yeah, so I fall in love with the antics of Mordecai and Rigby. Not looking forward to today's episode. I'm scared. No, it's okay. Personally, I don't like the episode that much. Uh -huh. It's not nearly it, it's not nearly as painful as season eight, so I've heard it's <laughs> notorious season eight. Let me guys uh, let let us know in the comment guys uh, if you're a regular show fan and you remember season eight and the pain that it was. Unless you're one of the people that liked season eight. Power to you. And if you did, let me know why, because, uh... Um... <laughs> I did not like it. Uh, there were parts of Season 7 I didn't like. There were decisions made in Season 7 that I didn't like that led up to Season 8. Mm. So it's like the seeds were being planted in Season 7 for Season 8. Mm. Yeah. And most people I watch who, like, have reviewed regular show are like, yeah, we don't like seeing that. But a lot of people agree that the finale was great. And I feel like they could have kept the finale the way it was without doing what they did in season 8, but, oh well. I don't know, maybe the writers were getting bored and they wanted to do something different. Perhaps. I don't know. I've never been on a writing team for a TV show, so... Yeah. That would be cool, but... Uh, just as I am not entirely sure how to get in as a casting director, I'm not sure how to get into that one either. Yeah. Because whenever I see job ads for casting directors, they want you to have experience. In this. Like any other job, and you're like, how do we get experience if not get hired? <laughs> Am I right, guys? Yeah. Unless you're like one of those guys that happens to be super charming. And they're like, well, normally I wouldn't hire someone with no experience, but you seem like 
you are really awesome, so I'll hire you. <laughs> I don't know. I've never Has been. You heard? Oh. Fancy. Oh. <laughs> I like that, that's cute. Yeah. It's layered on top of the... It was layered on top of the menu, that was cool, guys. Yeah. I don't think I saw that with any other enemies yet. Yeah, and I noticed that he's facing the opposite direction, so... Yeah. Fudge! No! Wow! No, 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 no. This is really bad. What do I do? I don't know. Can we even... Well, we were awake enough to do heal and now we're hurt again. This is a tough little area. It is. Very tough in this part of the world. Yeah. I'm at least surviving more up north of this area, but... Yeah. This area specifically is a little rough. going to have to fight one of these things. I'm afraid to. Ooh, <laughs> I, darn it. It won't leave you alone. It's following us. Oh. That's a rough night. Yeah. Go to sleep. that we can put some enemies asleep. It's not nice that it doesn't work on everybody, but I do understand that it could easily be used to cheat uh, right. if it worked too well. A metal slime. Good save spot. Um, if we're able to stay alive. I know what to do. I don't. <laughs> uh, don't, since we're running low on times, we should 
fly back to the castle. Alright. And save the game. <laughs> I guess we'll have to pick this up next time. Thank you guys so much for coming, and, uh... Have a great one, everybody. Yes, have a great one. Bye.